I don't know what made me decide to wear this shirt today. It's it's like a hundred degrees outside. It's like the hottest day of the year. It's like I thought, you know what's a good idea to wear in the middle of July? A parka. It doesn't help that I have blinding lights on me right now. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so hot. Hello everyone, I'm here today to do another beauty dupes tested for you guys. This is, I think, my third one and I'm really enjoying this. This is a lot of fun. It's kind of rewarding to go out and find like this exact replica for this one lipstick that you absolutely love and it's like a third of the price, you know? It's just like, that's like the ultimate dream. I found five different ones on the interwebs, I'm mostly, mostly on Pinterest, I'm not gonna lie to you. And we're gonna test it out and see if they're good dupes. So without further ado, let's get into this. So the first one that we're going to do is actually something that I'm wearing on my face right now and that is is the cushion foundation. There is a good dupe for the Lancome Miracle Cushion Foundation, which I love, by the way. If you've seen my buy or buy, that is one of my favorites. I did like a whole one on different cushion foundations. I'll put it in the cards in case you're interested. And according to Pinterest, a good drugstore dupe for that is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. Now, having tested both of these out quite extensively, I will say that there are some areas where it's very, very similar. However, there's one key difference for me, at least when it's applied to my skin. This one seems to give more impact um, when you apply it to the skin right away and it builds to more of a fuller coverage, at least in my experience. This one also is a little bit more on the luminous side for me um, than this one. Having said that though, they are both a dewy finish. The cushion within these foundations is much more of an airier build, so you get a lot more product um, built up on the sponge when you're applying it to the face, so in that way they're also very similar. So overall, if I'm not nitpicking too much, I'ma say a dupe. Next up is a dupe for a NARS product that's really, really popular, and that's their Albatross um, Highlighting Blush. I don't know why it's called highlighting blush. It does not look like a blush. This is what the color looks like. I've never tried this myself. This is my first time swatching it, so we're gonna see what it looks like, but apparently a good dupe for that is one by e.l.f., and that is the e.l.f. blush in Gotta Glow. Again, it's not a blush, people. These are highlights. Looking at them side by side, I'm gonna say these are identical, so I'm pretty stoked about this because this is way cheaper than this one is. I don't have the numbers in front of me, so editing Rachel. Do some math for me, please. <laughs> How much of a difference is it? I'm gonna guess more than $20 difference, but... Numbers, right here. We're gonna start with e.l.f. and we're gonna apply it to this side. And now we'll apply the NARS one to the other side. I will say right off the bat, you need a lot less of the NARS product when you're applying it than you do with the e.l.f. You can really build up the e.l.f. one, the NARS one, you gotta, you gotta be a little bit careful. All right, so that's the final verdict. Can you see that? That's one side, and that's the other side. Standing here, they look the same. So I'm gonna say, it's a dupe. All right, next up is a concealer dupe, and I'm looking at the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, which is pretty good in my books. It's not my absolute favorite that I have out there, but it is pretty good. Um, and a dupe for it is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. So I'm not gonna lie to you, I have one under one eye and one under the other eye. Can you, can you tell the difference? I didn't think so. I'll swatch them on my hands so you guys can see sort of the difference in terms of consistency, but really they're very similar to me. Um, another one that I find is very similar is the uh, Urban Decay Naked Concealer. It has that nice serum-y feel to it, but it's super pigmented and blends out beautifully. Um, I'm gonna say between these two, I think I like the Maybelline one better, to be honest. I think this one lasts longer than this one, but they're again, they're both really nice when you apply them to the skin. Don't mind the difference in the actual tones of the concealer because they're not dupes for color. But in terms of the pigmentation and how it sits under the eyes and over any sort of acne scars or pimples or anything like that, I would say that to me at least, they are identical. I found that it doesn't cake up. It doesn't crease very easily under the eyes. Um, it did, the Too Faced one, at least by the end of the day, did sort of separate a little bit in the areas where I'm oiliest. Um, so that's sort of a downside for the Too Faced one. So I'm gonna say overall, that is a strong dupe. Number four, we have another dupe for a NARS product and that is one of their eyeshadows. And I love this eyeshadow. If you guys have watched some of my videos, you know I am obsessed with this one. It is in the color Himalaya and it's this beautiful metallic rosy taupe tone and it's absolutely stunning, especially when applied wet. It is really crazy amounts of pigmented and it's just, oh, it's one of those gorgeous shades that like I can't, I can't get enough of them. Oh, it's beautiful. And I was hunting around online and I found out that apparently one of the ColourPop eyeshadows is a really good dupe for it. I mean, I haven't seen a lot of ColourPop eyeshadow dupes, but I've seen a lot of like lip dupes, especially for like the Kylie Jenner cosmetics lip kit things, but we'll get to that in a future video. But I was kind of curious because I had both products on hand. I wanted to see if they were actually a good dupe for each other. And it's the ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadow in the color Birthday Boy. All right, um, mm, no. 
Like I can see where people are going with it. If you turn and like look at it in different lights, the reflex look very similar, but the ColourPop one has glitter in it, which is a huge difference right off the bat. And it has more of a brown undertone, whereas the NARS one has more of a taupey, rosy quartz undertone to me. So yeah, I am sorry to say that is not a dupe. And lastly is a dupe that I talked about in, I think my five first impressions that I did last week, I wanna say. Was it last week? I don't even remember. And I was testing out the new Maybelline Color Jolts. They look like this, and I was noticing as I was applying it to my lips that it felt and looked very similar to the Too Faced Melted lipsticks that I absolutely adore. So after I was done filming, I pulled out all of my Too Faced Melted lipsticks and compared it to the Jolts, and there were several colors that looked very similar just from packaging. And so I looked it up online and a lot of people had compared the uh, Melted Chihuahua shade to the shade Stripped Down by Maybelline and said that they were very similar. When I was looking at the swatches online, I, like personally, it didn't look like a really similar um, shade because one has much more of a pinky undertone than the other one. So first I'm going to compare the Too Faced and Melted Color in Melted Berry to the Color Jolt in the color Berry Naughty. As you can see from the outside, they look very similar. And then if you look, the applicator is almost identical. You squeeze the tube, the product comes into the applicator and apply it to your lips. And then in terms of the formulation, the reason I love the melted lipstick so much is that they really do feel like a melted down lipstick. And the color jolts are very similar. I was thinking they might be a little bit more on the serum-y side, but they're not. They really do feel like a melted down lipstick. So I found that interesting as well. All right, so that is the comparison. They look the same, right? That's not just me, that's the same. Total dupe. I would say the only difference just in swatching it on my hand is that the um, color jolt feels a little bit more um, like a gloss when I'm applying it to my hand for whatever reason. The other ones that I've tested anyway don't feel as glossy. Maybe I just, in terms of like side by side comparison, I'm just noticing the difference now. But like the color and the way that it sits on the hand, that is identical. The next one I'm going to test is the difference between the color jolt in Never Bare and the melted lipstick in Melted Peony. All right, so here is the Too Faced one and here is the Maybelline one. And you can see they're very similar, but I think if I'm gonna be nitpicking, there is definitely a difference in terms of the color itself. The Too Faced one is a bit darker than the Maybelline one. So in that sense, they are, they're not a dupe in my eyes. If you're looking for something that's a bit cheaper than the melted lipsticks, I think they're pretty be close, but are they an exact dupe? Not so much. And that's everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you want to see more beauty dupes tested. If you have any in particular that you want to see, leave them in the comment section below. And if you see any comments with any product dupes that you want to see, give that comment a thumbs up so I see it faster. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you got some ideas and some tips and tricks. And if there are any in here that you've tried yourself that you really love or don't love, let me know. I want to hear from you guys. I hope you're all having an amazing, amazing week so far and a wonderful summer. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.